Welcome to Christ Center Gamer's video game review of Moses' Escape from Egypt. This game was made by Saint Games, which is actually pretty much a one-person team. Uh, so, yeah, this guy did pretty good work for by himself. I mean, this is a Unity-based adventure game. Uh, the voice acting uh, was done from by a woman. I can only assume it's his wife. I don't think that's really his voice. But your goal is to lead Moses out of Egypt, as the title suggests. Uh, this is the third out of four levels. Um, the levels are pretty short in this game. You could probably have this game beaten in like an hour, maybe two. But the price tag is only $4, so uh, supporting the Christian gaming industry is not bad. Uh, when I first launched this game, I was a bit confused about this blank area here. Well, this is where it stores your inventory. I did talk to the developer, it'd be nice to incorporate like some objectives, because then when you beat a level, you're just kind of just dumped into the next level, not really knowing what to do. So maybe that might be coming in an upcoming update or something, we'll see. Uh, another thing is, since this game is relatively new, and there's really not much of a community or a fact or a walkthrough for it, so I was stumped a little bit and got some help from the developer. So he responds to his emails and helped me out when I got stuck in the game. He should be doing an update on his website to add a little bit of a walkthrough there. So there we go. Now we got a hammer. A hammer is an amazing tool in this game. Usually I just think of pounding hammers with, er, pounding nails with hammers. But in this game, it opens up closets and toolboxes. So I thought it was kind of funny. I wouldn't open up a closet with a hammer in real life, but you do in this game. And you get asked random questions such as this. All right. And like many adventure games, when you see your mouse turn, your cursor change like that, yeah, it's probably an item you can interact with. So there we go. So I don't want to spoil this level. There's just only one more thing left to get, and then you get that little rowboat there and head over to the big ship, and then your game's over after you find the papyrus. But yeah, so this is the music. The background music is really well done. Um, you know, the graphics are you know not bad. You know, a little rough around the edges. But this is actually, to believe it or not, this is the, probably the prettiest level of the game. The first level was very bland. But this one's got you know nice water and some lots of palm trees and rocks and barrels. But one nice thing to know is that there's absolutely like no violence in this game. Like if I were to go in this water and drown. Uh, he changed his mind. If I were to drown, it wouldn't be like drastic or anything like that. It would just drop me off at the beginning of the level. I'd probably have to find those two items again. Uh, but the first level has like spikes, and I was expecting like blood or something if I walked into them. But nope, just drops you off at the beginning of the level. So absolutely no violence. Good game for kids. Good, you know, it could be a good learning tool. But there's really not much um, immersion. So you're just plopped in these different levels and figure out what to do so um, but definitely a good start uh, you know very impressed especially you know being a one-man team and I've only dabbled with unity a little bit but very very nice work for for a solo project so but check out Saint games check out this game it's only four dollars and like I said it's not very long but it's good to let uh, you know reward Christian developers when they make of a good a good game so thank you for checking out this review thank you for watching god bless